what are the S curves for Facebook? What was the first S curve? Well, they uh, released the Facebook at Harvard, right? And then what did they do? Well, once you have Harvard students, it's easy to get the Ivy League students, right? And because everybody wants to hang out with the cool Harvard kids. And once you have the Ivy League, then the rest of US colleges want to follow. And once you have the US colleges, high schools want to follow. Once you have the high schoolers, the parents want to go there, and then everybody's there, right? So the strategy that they follow was very intelligent, going from the most popular people and then opening up the platform to other groups that were able to get everybody excited to join. But then they reached this invisible asymptote, right? Which is bandwidth. There's many asymptotes, but this is one of them, right? And what they did is they focused for a bunch of time on making the product really, really lightweight so that others uh, in countries that had low bandwidth could access the product. And there was another invisible asymptote, which was low content frequency. Because if you remember the beginning of Facebook, why would you come, right? You would come because you received on Sunday morning an email saying, hey, somebody just tagged you on a picture from yesterday night. And they, oh my God, you said, well, like, I need to see. So you said, so you thought, oh my God, what happened? What is this picture? So you're going to run to uh, Facebook to see what's going on, and then you're going to sign up. But that's just once a week, and that's not enough, right? So they wanted to increase content frequency so you could come back more and more and more every day, several times a day. And that's when they became a platform where they allowed games and other social applications to be created for Facebook. And that way people would have more content and they would come back more. And then they, they created the feed and they spent a couple of years on porting to native, native mobile and Instagram and news and Instagram stories and so on and so forth. And they're constantly releasing new apps, new products, new features to ride more and more S-curves. And that's why their stock also looks like an S-curve.